Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As promised, today it's going to be an Airtable video since I didn't make one last week. And today we're going to be focusing on reports. Also a little update for those of you who don't read my posts, unfortunately, because of my limited time and the amount of requests I'm receiving, I'm temporarily stopping the service of filing for new authorities. However, as soon as time permits, I'm going to be opening up that service again. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. Ready? Let's go. All right. So today we're going to be building out the reports page in Airtable. And this is what will give you the overview of how you're doing month by month, week by week, whatever you decide. So as always, we are going to start with adding a base and let's name it something like, I don't know, reports. There we go. Okay. So as always, we're going to delete a bunch of things here, delete all these fields. Now the way mine is built out is pretty simple. The first column, I'm going to rename it to month. Now, once we do that, what we're going to do is add or import, and we're going to add from an air table base. So once you have this, just click on here and link it to your loads. This is going to be your first base link it to your loads. The table will be loads, not drivers, shippers, brokers, loads, and the view will be grid view. Next, next, create table. So now you have your loads right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename the table to loads. Now, the next thing you want to do is add or import air table base, select your expenses. For the table, click operating expenses or whatever you named it, grid view, next, next, create table. And we name this to expenses. All right, so you have a tab for your loads, you have a tab for your expenses, and they will be auto populating as you fill in your loads and expenses in that other base that we created for these two. So let's go back to table one, we'll rename it to report. And let's start building it out. So number one, click the plus button, link to another record and link to loads. And what you're going to put in here is loads. Pretty simple. The next column will be your expenses. So you're going to link to another record expenses and name it expenses. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in April, 2022, and let's put in all the loads and the expenses that are related to April, 2022. So what you're going to do is just click on loads. You can either click the plus button or just simply hit enter and you will see the dates right here. Anything that falls under April, you will put in. So let's do that. There we go. We have all our loads. Now the same thing for expenses, click enter or click the plus button and put in all the expenses where the date paid is within the month of April. Now, another thing you can do is once you put in that first expense, if you go to your expense tab, look at this, this is linked to your report. So now all of these expenses are from the month of April. So instead of sitting here and hitting the enter button a bunch of times, just go to your expenses, click on this and just drag it down. And there we go. All your expenses for April will be under the April report. Now, what we want to do next is we want to see actually the numbers portion. So what we're going to do is click plus, and then we're going to click roll up and we're going to name this field gross income, choose a field in this table. Income comes from loads. So what we're going to do is choose loads and then we're going to choose the total due. So now here in this box, you want to put in sum because you want to sum up all the values of the loads. For the formatting, you want it to be at currency. So create the field and there we go. This is your gross income from these loads. It basically takes all the loads and calculates how much you made in the month of April. The same thing should be done for the expenses. So click the plus button, roll up. We'll name this operating expenses, roll up. The field for expenses is right here. We'll click on the amount. And then again, we'll put in sum. Make sure the formatting is that currency create field. So here are your operating expenses. Now what we need is the net income. So you click plus, you click formula, we'll name it net income. And the formula is pretty simple. It's gross income 
minus operating expenses. Make sure the formatting is currency. It will want to do it as an integer. Create, there is your net income. Now let's say you have partners in your company and let's say you have uh, two partners, yourself and someone else, and you decide that half of the net income will be allocated 50% to you, 50% to your partner as an owner draw. So what you're going to do is you want to first divide this net income uh, by half because half goes back into the company and half is being distributed between you and your partner. So let's do this formula distributable income and what we're going to do is net income divided by 2 formatting currency create field so this is your distributable income this is the income that you can now distribute between yourself and your partner so how do we figure out how much you and your partner get well let's do an add field formula let's say Bob's distribution will do distributable income divided by 2. Make sure the formatting is currency. So this is what you get. And then let's do the same thing for your partner. Let's do formula Jane's income. Let's say your partner is Jane. Distributable income divided by 2. Formatting is currency. Create field. There we go. Now you know how much you're getting this month, how much uh, your partner is getting this month, and you see what you are putting back into the company because the distributable income is going to be equal to the amount that is going back to your company if you're taking 50% of the money you made. Now, another really cool thing you can do from this Airtable is that you can create some uh, charts. So what you're going to do, you will see this apps tab. So click on that and then add an app. And then let's do chart. Just add that. And then what we want to do is we want to do it, let's say, from expenses, right? And we are going to do grid view. And let's pick a field. For the x-axis, we're going to do category. For the y-axis, we're going to do field. And then we're going to do amount. So what do you see here? Load board is the lowest price. Fuel is the highest price. Permits and business docks are pretty low as well. So you can see fuel is your highest price. So it's pretty awesome to just get a visual view of how you're doing. And the best part, you can do the same thing with the reports. Now, let me show you our reports uh, really quickly. I'm going to blur out some of the information, but just so that you can see what you can do. So basically, this will be kind of a visual representation of how your company is doing month by month. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see next, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to read all the comments that I get. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.